El Davos de las Mujeres llega a España. Mil mujeres líderes de empresas e instituciones de todo el mundo se reúnen desde hoy en Madrid. Es la primera vez que nuestro país acoge el Global Summit of Women. Dear friends of the Global Summit of Women, I am honored and pleased to introduce you to Madrid. Our beautiful and lively city is waiting for you with open arms. We're not only opening the stock exchange this morning, but we're also marking the opening of the Global Summit of Women. But what we're saying here at this market open and also at the summit every day is that women have made great contributions to the economies of every country as executives like those of you in this room as CEOs. There are 26 ministers who came to this summit from different countries. They all presented projects that advanced women that involved partnerships between government, business, or civil society. It would be that you would not be alone in investing in Spain. When you look at uh, the data for the past five years, uh, foreign direct investment uh, database, and uh, when you look at 2018, 2023, Spain has been the fourth country in the world in terms of new investment projects, in terms of greenfield projects. Spain as a physical platform, logistics, etc., etc., has a privileged situation in the world. Now let me tell you a secret. AI doesn't care. <clears throat> okay, so artificial intelligence is not going to solve this for us. Maybe we can use the power of artificial intelligence to limit the risk of artificial intelligence, but we need to be behind. Uh, a record number of robots were installed in 2022, over half a million. And the installed base of robots around the world reaches 3.9 million. So these are 3.9 million industrial robots that is working around the world today as we speak. Uh, you're probably uh, aware that Metaverse is not science fiction. Uh, but it is a convergence of virtual and physical realities. The AI regulation from Europe is the first regulation in the world that is affecting 27 countries, so it's international. It's regulating the high-risk use cases of technology, but takes care not only on the safety risks, on the health risks, but very important, on the fundamental risks which is education, um, the, the, the job place, the use of uh, AI by the governments. We have to create an environment where companies like myself and people like myself and my colleagues allow and enable and empower women to do what they need to do to lead a life, whether it's commitments or elsewhere. Uh, another point is that we, we should hire for cultural ed and not for cultural fit. Because then you create more diversity when you, when you are open enough to accept that people can be successful 
having a much uh, working from home and looking after kids, and they can have a great career. On va avoir une population à deux, deux, deux vitesses, une, ceux qui peuvent se permettre d'aller entraîner et travail et ceux qui font du boulot où ils sont obligés à l'agence, par exemple. Ceux qui s'occupent de la cantine, ils sont là. Both of you just mentioned. So, I truly believe that the innovation thrives in those, you know, cultures, climates where we feel that we are safe, psychologically safe, the caring environments. In order to be innovative, I need to, to feel, to believe, to truly believe that my voice counts, that I can have an opinion, that the people around me will listen and will consider me. So the inclusive environment is the first one. We need to put our self-care first. We need to make sure that we have both the time, of course the energy, to care about ourselves. How can we look after ourselves? But one day, however, I had a really tough day at work. And to shake it all off, I went home and for just 10 minutes, I danced to a YouTube video. And I made this a daily habit. And when I had that insight, in fact, I had less, I did less work more smartly and I became promoted to a partner. So finding and diagnosing what, where the stress is coming from can actually push you forward. At this summit, let's advocate for the concrete action in decision-making forms. We must push for the increased women's representation in peace process, peace negotiation, resources for women-led initiatives, and gender-sensitive policies. Learn fast, apply fast. That's, that was for me the, the most important thing that I had in my mind every day, because I was learning by doing, learning and applying, learning and validating, so. Find an investor that has the same vision as you. In my space, it was, I needed to find a family that knew that you can't eat gold, right? That you have to feed the world and that we have to take care of our planet. Berlin is a beautiful city, you have seen it, lots of water, lots of green, lots of art, culture and history. And it's in the middle of Europe where East and West meet, where history was made more than once. So Madrid laid the bar high, but Berlin already said, hold my beer. The future host committee will give its best to match this incredible summit and make another one.